real quick like because I don't know why I didn't include this but you also of course can use candle magic and crystal magic that's using the elemental of fire with candles and the element of earth with crystals and if you're drawn to that of course uh, you can certainly use those ways of communicating back and forth as well so you've got plants animals birds you've got I mean you've got animals insects birds that you can talk back and forth with by translating via the internet communication between your higher self, the planet, you, magical beings, everything. You've got um, herbs and any all kinds of plants because any kind of plant you can make a tea out of. You just steep it in water, drink it. It's real easy. And you can assist all kinds of assistance with the plants with your health and well-being. And then, of course, you can work with fire, with candles, and you can work with the elements with crystals or any kind of rocks, really. It doesn't have to even be crystals. So, yeah, start. This isn't, these are something that they tried to get rid of a long time ago. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the astrology via Sarah with the energies coming from other planets. So, there's a lot of different th ways that you can begin to interact and communicate with Gaia and the beings that are here that are things that have been around for a very, very, very long time, way before there was a Jehovah God, these things were around. So you can start going back to using those kind of things. Now, interestingly, very, very frequently, your medication that your doctor has given you, if you'll track that back, most of the time it has been derived from a plant. Which is why I think it's hilarious <laughs> that people don't, uh, they get all bent out of shape if you have a, a, a tea made out of newt's eye, but they'll take a medication that's been created by men. Because what, of course, because we're humans and humans are very impatient. So instead of taking the natural product that will help over a longer period of time in a very gentle way, uh, working with the system, then humans will, their scientists will take and find a certain component out of there. They'll jack it up, make it from a synthetic product and give people that version in pill form, which frequently has horrible, horrible side effects, of course, that they have to give you more medicine for that they obtain the same exact way. So, yeah, if you, I would suggest, anyway, that's what I did, is go back to clean food, clean water, um, checking on and trying to get as much natural cures as you can. Of course, deal with your own self, doing your own energetic healing, and always call on the elements, communicate with the totems, communicate with crystals, and sound, sound which is music, and movement which is chi. Wow, I'm just, this is just going on and on and on. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways that you can begin to be connected with Gaia that will get you closer to 5D. So get in nature, find out about herbs that will help ease your discomfort, communicate with the plants, animals, and birds via messages that they're gonna send in via that. You can also work with healing with sound, light, color, crystals, and candle magic. Okay, how does that sound? All right, that's part number two, okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Huge hugs. Bye now.